Speaking of kids movies, Sing 2. They've given out the entire plot in the trailers. I don't care. They have. And I don't even know why they made it. Just too bad. Jen, have you seen it? Sing 2. Did no. you see Sing 1? I haven't. It's no. A, it's a pop. It just it's a, seemed like such garbage. <laughs> it is a garbage <laughs> pop jukebox movie starring uh, CGI animals. So there Sing you go. was fine. Cool. It's fine. It's not great. Being the Ricardos is an interesting one. This is Nicole Kidman playing Lucille Ball. This is a big, this is a big yeah for me. I love these kind of movies. I think it's a big yeah for me too. I think um, mm. from what I've seen in the trailer so far, it's pretty interesting. And it looks, the design, I, looks, the design looks I'm really good. I'm very hesitant. I'm very hesitant. Is this a Sorkin film, right? Mm. Uh, it is a Sorkin film. But, but, oh here's, here, but here's what I'll say. Sorkin, I think Sorkin is better when he is commenting on Hollywood than yeah. he is on politics. I think if uh, if you remember, um, was it called Studio 60? What was the Sorkin show? Studio 60? There was there were two around the same time. Uh, um, hold on. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. Um, starred, uh, of course, Bradley Whitford because he can't do a movie without Bradley Whitford and Matthew Perry. Uh, actually, it was like pretty short lived. It was like one season, but it was actually pretty good. And he did that was Sorkin on Hollywood, which I always think is a little bit better than. than but I, I hear your, I hear your concern. Um, let's see here, Morbius. I'm in. I'm actually in. I like I'm interested. I, I'm interested in seeing where it goes. Um, Jared Leto very is weird. Be a trademark. Well, Leto does weird. He makes weird choices sometimes. Although David Ayer is out there right now saying like release the air cut of uh, of Suicide Squad because he's like Jared Leto killed it as Joker and nobody will ever see. And it's like I, I don't believe you. Don't believe you. <laughs> and I think I probably will be glad to not have seen any more of him in that role. But. I saw, I, I saw the trailer for the first time for when for the when, when to go watch the Eternals. Mm -hmm. Um, my gosh, this looks terrible. I I, I it don't, look I don't the CGI think... looks. It's bad. a trick. They're not done. First I, of all, oh my gosh, I don't I don't care about these characters anymore. Like you already were stretching it with Iron Man and <laughs> Thor, and like I'm done. I'm out. Like just. Morbius is a really funny character to me anyway, because so Morbius exists. This is a, a little uh, sort of deep cuts of, of comic, book movie, comic book history, not comic book movie history, but Morbius exists because of the Comics Code Authority. So part of the Comics Code required, uh, like they limited what you could do in terms of horror. They basically killed the horror genre in comics because they thought it was like satanic and it was corrupting the youth and stuff. So you weren't allowed to do comics with vampires. So Morbius is very explicitly not a vampire. <laughs> right. He is a doctor who got a blood disease that requires him to drink blood and it's something to do with bats and so he has superpowers that allow him to fly and he looks a lot like a vampire, but by God, but he, he is, is not, not a vampire. He is absolutely. And I will not. take you to court if you call him one. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> you will. You will see me in court if you call him a vampire. So yeah, I always thought that was really funny. Um, no, I actually like it in part because I'm seeing the possibilities of doing Venom and Spider-Man and getting everybody together and actually doing like Venom was terrible. And I, I I enjoyed Venom, man. Like I think you're. I think your expectations for Venom are weird. Oh. My expectations for Venom was that it was going to be weird and kind of gross and funny. And it mostly was. Here's a trailer that you I hate. You are adorable. Here's a trailer that I hate. House of Gucci. Oh, I'm gosh. so oh. disinterested in this I think movie. I've, I've just seen, seen it too trailer. many That's times. part of my problem. I've seen it 17,000 times. I, I love Adam Driver. I'm I, okay with Adam Driver. I, uh, he's hilarious. He's the best character in Logan Lucky. Okay. Uh, and I love Lady Gaga surprisingly as an actor. She's pretty good. And I, I, I do, this. I, I think actually this, like her as a singer when she's not singing garbage pop music. When she does not sing her own songs. Yeah. Um, one of the best Oscar performances of all time. Not she's good. when she sang um, uh, 
song of uh, the song from the movie that they did. No, the, not the one with Bradley. Cooper. No, this was. Sh- oh gosh, song of music. No, what's what's the sound musical? Of, sound, sound of, of musical. musical. Yeah, she sang a song. Whatever. <laughs> sound Mus- of musical. <laughs> it's a musical, <laughs> and there's sounds. The, so- the song of music or sound of musical is what we got. Got there. <laughs> they wanted, they wanted a great performance. One of the great, greatest live performances I've seen on television. But anyways. All right. I'm I am cautiously optimistic about that one. Okay. Uh light year. Say about light year. Mm. I'm confused. Nuba's light. I, I'm actually okay. confused. Well, all right, you you go first and then I'll explain my confusion. Nuba's light year it looks like you know the the evolution of the Lego cop, you know? <laughs> Nuba's light year looks like he would 100% turn off his body camera. <laughs> it is bad. I it's agree. Real bad. I agree, and it's Chris Evans. I think it is as uh, yes, Tim Allen wasn't available because Tim Allen wasn't mm-hmm. available. They didn't want to do like old, like his voice is just older. I don't know. Uh, here's my beef with this though. He's a toy. How does he age? How does he or change? He? Well, this is the thing. Like I imagine that this is like the backstory, but. The problem with this immediately is it breaks the Toy Story lore, lore entirely because he mm-hmm. is a toy who has an imagined backstory because he because he has a story yeah. on the side of the box or whatever. But like the toy is the toy. Like he doesn't he's not. I don't know. It's weird. Like Woody doesn't like even in the Woody's Roundup stuff. It's just toy Woody. I don't know. Whatever. It's just weird. I believe in, I sort of believe in Pixar's ability to pull it off, except for it's not a Toy Story movie anymore. 